Hey everyone, this is RegisterNurseRN.com bringing you a video on nursing care plans. In this video, we will be talking about nursing care plans, what they are, how they differ from nursing care plans in nursing school and on the job, their importance, how to develop a nursing care plan, and how to use our free pre-made nursing care plans on our website, RegisterNurseRN.com. A nursing care plan is part of the nursing process which outlines the plan of care that will be implemented during a patient's medical care. By using the nursing care plan, the nurse will be able to assess, plan, implement, and evaluate patient care. Nurses such as registered nurses and LPNs, registered dietitians, respiratory therapists, physical therapy, and other licensed members of the healthcare team often add to and help revise a nursing care plan. Care plans play a very important part in the treatment of a patient and can actually save time. By taking the time to complete a detailed care plan, the nurse will be able to create a specific line of treatment for the patient. This helps the nurse maintain a focused, personalized plan of care without overlooking important steps. In addition, nursing care plans help with discharge teaching as well. By looking at the nursing care plan, the nurse can decide what health areas need to be covered with the patient before he or she leaves. Nursing care plans that nursing students complete differ, differ slightly from the nursing care plans a nurse completes at the job in the sense that the nursing care plan the nurse completes on the job is less detailed and more patient focused. Most nursing care plans that nurses use in the hospital setting are pre-made templates and the nurse simply checks goals and intervention the nurse wants to take with that particular patient. Lastly, care plans completed on the job take minutes to complete compared to hours when completing a care plan in nursing school. So what does a nursing care plan look like? Here's an example of a care plan. Note that there are many different variations of nursing care plan templates. Here you will see where the nursing diagnosis goes, and below that in columns are nursing outcomes, interventions, and evaluation of met or unmet. Here we will develop a nursing diagnosis with some interventions and goals. Here is a typical nursing scenario you might encounter in nursing school or on the job. A 78-year-old female was admitted to your floor for rehabilitation from having a massive stroke. The patient is very slow in speech, but is able to give appropriate answers. You received the patient from a local medical center. Before the patient had this stroke, she was able to completely care for herself and live by herself. And this is according to, her pa to the patient and her family. The patient now has complete paralysis on the right side of her body. The patient's dominant hand is her right hand. The patient is un unable to do the following for herself. Feed herself, provide hygiene, dress, use the bathroom, or simply write her name. The patient states she wants to get better, but states she does not know if she, this will ever happen. After reading the scenario, you need to think to yourself, what challenges and issues does this patient face? This is where your nursing care plan book comes into play. Using your nursing care plan, access the area of the book that has a complete list of NANDA nursing diagnosis. This is usually located in the index of the book. While looking through each diagnosis, think to yourself, does this diagnosis apply to this particular patient? A great nursing diagnosis for this patient would be self-care deficit syndrome. After finding self-care deficit syndrome in your nursing care plan book, turn to the page it specifies and see what the defining characteristics are. In order to use this nursing diagnosis, your patient must fall into one of the major defining characteristics. In this case, for our patient to fall into self-care deficit syndrome, she must have a deficit in each of the activities of self-feeding, bathing, dressing, toileting, and instrumental self-care deficit. If you analyze the scenario, you will note that the patient reports a deficit in all of these areas. So now, our patient qualifies for this diagnosis. Now to get the related to part of the diagnosis. Again, using your nursing care plan book, look at the part where it says related factor and find the best match factor that relates to your patient. In our patient's case, her related factor is pathophysiological and she would fall into the category related to partial paralysis and it would be secondary to stroke. So far, our nursing diagnosis looks like this. Self-care deficit syndrome related to partial paralysis secondary to stroke. The only part that is left is the as evidenced by. 
To develop this, you will need to determine what her signs and symptoms are, hence the evidence for why this particular patient qualifies for this nursing diagnosis. In this case, it would be as evidenced by being unable to feed herself, provide hygiene, use the bathroom, and write her name. Our completed nursing diagnosis should look like this. Self-care deficit syndrome related to partial paralysis, secondary to stroke, as evidenced by patient being unable to feed herself, provide hygiene, use the bathroom, and write her name. Next is to develop patient goals and nursing interventions. Again, your nursing care plan book can help with this. For this patient, the following goals can be, the patient will participate in feeding, dressing, toileting, and bathing activities daily. The patient will report increased confidence regarding activities of daily living within two weeks. Some nursing interventions would be, the nurse will encourage the patient to participate in activities such as feeding, toileting, and bathing daily. The nurse will praise for involvement and allow the patient to be as independent as the patient can without patient harm. The nurse will avoid increasing the patient's dependency by doing things for the patient that she has demonstrated the ability to do independently. So there is how you develop a nursing diagnosis with some nursing goals and interventions. If you would need or like some more help on nursing care plans, visit our website registernursern.com, then click the nursing care plan box at the top of the page. Here you will be able to access our free nursing care plans. Thank you so much again for watching and be sure to visit our site registernursern.com for all your nursing needs.